guys, so I, I know I already have a fishing, how to make a lizard catcher on my other, my first, on my channel already, but I want to make another one since that one wasn't very good and it didn't explain and I've been getting like two questions on it. So hopefully this will clear up those two questions and at the end of the video I'll show you a um, catch I made earlier this morning. So. First off, you don't want to use this wax string. This wax string will get caught up in itself and then it will choke the lizard and you won't be able to get the lizard out. That's what happened to me this morning and that's how I know not to eat it. You also don't want to use fishing wire or fish, fishing string, fishing line or whatever because that will decapitate the lizard. Now, you could use white string like this or yellow string like this, it does not matter in from what I found and I've been doing this for a long, long time. So what you want to do first is go to like some place where you can get fishing stuff like savers. Um, usually they have fishing rods and you want to get the tip of it. So like the reel would be down here where you like crank in the fish and then this would be the top part to a two piece fishing rod. And what you want to look for is not a big group gap. So these two I have. These I'm going to call eyelets or eyes. So if I line up the eyes on these two old fishing rods and then I go to the side view, you can see that the one on the bottom will have a big group. And it will mess up your loop at the top. Stop. So you want to get the one with the smaller loop right here. So I like this one because it's new and it has this little rubber thing at the end that you can like pull out and I can't really see it on camera but it's a little like rubber thingy majig. There you go, you can kind of see it. It's almost like an eraser. It's like a really freakishly long pencil eraser. So once we have that done, we want to take our string. And what I did earlier is I took a lighter and I just kind of frayed the edges so it doesn't like, I mean, melted the edges so it doesn't fray. And for this, before I forget, you're going to need scissors, a uh, fishing tip of a rod, obviously, yellow string or white string, whatever string, except for fishing line or that wax stuff. I found that um, fly fishing, uh, dry fly or wet fly, I don't, it doesn't really matter. But um, the stuff for fly fishing works excellent. It doesn't catch on itself. It holds its loop very well and it doesn't get um, caught up on itself like the wax does. So what you wanna do once you have it frayed, you wanna go to the end. No, you want I'll show you the easy way. The easy way is to get the tip so see this tip, how it, the eye lip, how it has these holes right here? You want to take this and you want to go right through it. And you want to tie that. So with this, you want to get the loop in. And then you want to do one like regular knot thing and then you want to like you want to keep this string pretty short because we don't want it dangling out and frayed it so I mean melted it so you want to loop it in and then do like this fishing uh, knot where you loop it in a whole bunch of times and then you want to pull that tight and then grab the end and pull it So you can see that this string, the string that I have in this hand, is not very long. I don't know if you can really see that. But then what you want to do is you want to take the string, hold it like this so you have a loop. And you just want to loop it up through there and make a okay size tape like that big so the 
little bit bigger than the lizard necks you have, like the lizards in your area, that you will be catching their neck size. So a little bit bigger than that so you can get it through there. And then you want to keep it tight in here and you just want to run all the way down, keeping that loop open. So you want to go all the way down to the end and add like an extra inch or two afterwards so you can tie a really good knot. And then you want to cut it. And then you want to take your excess string, this thing, you want to roll it up and put that aside. Then you want to take your lighter and melt this side as well. Then you want to wait for a couple seconds to let it like set up and get that hard outside. And then you can just tap it. Now this disperses the heat, I'm pretty sure, through your fingers. You want to tap it fast and you don't want to just grab it because that will burn your fingers. In case you want to free the edge and you melted the edges, you want to go back through and loop it through the eye. And then pull it through. And then you want to grab, you want to go through the second one. And then we'll loop it through. And you want to make sure it doesn't like turn around on it. You want to make sure it goes straight. But if it does like get turned around, then you can just take it and loop it around the outside. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it around the little, where the little rubber thing meets the um, rod. And then you want to do that fishing knot again. Tight, tight. And then put it down. So it stays in there really well because you don't want this knotted and sliding up and down because that would mess you all up. And then if it does get like turned around like this, then you just want to take your loop on the outside and undo it and spin it the other way. And then you want to take this end to set it up, you want to loop it. And then you want to put it right through that eye hole. So see how it's a little bit bigger than the lizard's necks? And then see how the loops are? Those are not the greatest. So what I usually do is I hold it at one of the loops. And I use this hand as the pivot, my left hand, or your right maybe. I don't know. Um, so tight tight and then I hold this hand where the slacky loop was and then my second hand on this and pull it tight tilt it kind of down kind of and then once you get over it you use this hand and you just want to pull it and then that will get the lizard caught and then you just take your hand and you grab it and then I do I let go of the back with this hand and then I usually Try to feed this string up so I can get the lizard out of the noose. And then you want to wash, take him and put him back where he was, and then wash your hands so you don't get caught. Never had that happen, but you still want to be cautious. And then you want to clean up after so you don't get in trouble. So, there you go. So, this is how to make a lizard catcher that does not hurt them. Remember, do not use fishing line or wax string because that will hurt the lizards. And then you want to make sure while you, when you're buying them that it comes with a tip. This is one of my favorite rods, but it doesn't have a tip on it on either end. So that was very sad when I noticed that. So thank you for watching. See you guys later.